It's a number so high it's almost hard to believe. There are now 36 million Americans on food stamps. That's one in every eight people, one in every four children. We're launching across ABC News to call attention to another crisis in America, hunger here at home. Millions of people across this country simply don't have enough to eat. Good evening. America is the nation of plenty, the richest country in the history of the world. But we have real numbers tonight on the staggering increase in people barely getting by. On May 6th, I asserted to the Congress that the moment is at hand to put an end to hunger in America itself for all time. My own feeling in this administration is that if there is one person in this country hungry, that is one too many. We hear the call to take on the challenges of hunger and poverty and disease. And that is precisely what America is doing. Troubling report today from the Department of Agriculture. It shows a dramatic spike in hunger in the U.S. 49 million, 108,000. President Obama, who was pledged to end childhood hunger by 2015, calls the report, quote, unsettled. 17 million children. This is not a developing country. Men, women, and children are facing hunger right here in the United States. This can happen to anybody. You think it won't happen to you? It might happen to you. Yeah, I took a trip to Elkhart, Indiana today. Elkhart's a place that has lost jobs faster than anywhere else in America. In one year, the unemployment rate went from 4.7 percent to 15.3 percent. Companies that have sustained this community for years are shedding jobs at an alarming speed. And the people who've lost them have no idea what to do or who to turn to. They can't pay their bills, and they've stopped spending money. And because they've stopped spending money, more businesses have been forced to lay off more workers. In fact, local TV stations have started running public service announcements that tell people where to find food banks, even as the food banks don't have enough to meet the demand.